Hello there, thanks for joining me. I'd like to show you this model of this uh, roof that I've got in front of me. It actually refers to one that we did earlier on. I've stripped away the walls from either side, so all we can see is the front elevation, which would have had slates over the top of it. The cold roof on the top, which would have had a felt roof on it. And if I turn it around, hanging slates on the rear dormer. There's a window here, or was a window, but I've just kept the details minimal. Now, the interesting thing is, is that uh, at the moment this is a cold roof and ventilation should be from the very bottom here where the gutter board is right away through either stopping at the front here and restarting on the roof and on the particular roof that we did it actually went from the very bottom here up across and down with venting also on the top of the roof here so there was a lot of areas where new air could enter and old air could um, exit the roof therefore venting the roof completely. Now a couple of interesting things here note the insulation and this is what a lot of people get wrong but the insulation is at the bottom of the joist. If you look here if we look down this area here it's there's a 50 mil gap or should be a 50 mil gap under the decking. I'm not showing the decking here at the moment because we're looking through this roof and you can see the pink insulation um, which is actually uh, here at the moment. But look underneath this now, internally there would be plasterboard all the way around. Normally there is a vapour barrier put in uh, on the inside of the walls and that's all down to the design. I'm not here to tell you design, I'm just here to show you certain um, elements that I find quite interesting and people phone me all the time and get all these things wrong. The other thing here is you can see there's an RSJ which runs through here and it's nicely buried under the roof insulation which runs up and across here it's not on the end which you see an awful lot um, and that's because of height because at the moment inside this room uh, in here the that would stick out like a sore thumb and it does inside this particular uh, property however on a building uh, way of looking at things this is much better because all this runs right away across and it's nicely inside and there's going to be no cold bridging from the outside elements that means that the steel the RSJ steel itself isn't really close to the outside elements therefore bringing in the cold and when that steel gets cold any moist air which is inside could condense onto that and then you're going to get some kind of sweating so what we had to do on our particular roof is to put a warm roof on over the top here and to do that what we did is remove the insulation um, from the top area here but we then put insulation down the side here and here blocking the movement of air up and in so the first thing we did was to remove the insulation which was in between this we did this by pulling it out either side then we put in this insulation here and here so that we stop any movement of air coming up and going through into this void uh, in between now that is something that a lot of people miss because we're going to be putting our new insulation over the top of all of this and if we hadn't blocked that area there this movement of air would come up and go back in there and just run around and the insulation would be sitting like a top hat on the top and you just you, you it just wouldn't work and wouldn't perform at all and you'd get cold so we've had to introduce more ventilation across the top here at this level so that we've got through ventilation the air can come in at the bottom and come out at the top and at the same on the back here um, there's already ventilation at the bottom so we've introduced ventilation on the top just there so as you can see here there's no ventilation between these joists and then once we've done that over the whole top we have put our uh, our warm insulation over the top of this and as you can now see vented front cold roof vented back cold roof and on the top a non vented warm roof and that just shows you underneath there what's going on so hopefully that uh, helps you I'm going to do a video now on the additional heights involved here because a lot of people come back and say we just can't do this because of the height so there's a few tricks that we can do to minimize the actual height of putting this on um, can't gain an awful lot but we can gain some things thanks for watching the video